Hi there, welcome back to our tutorial series on YouTube. It is very nice to have you back. Please do not forget that this series is brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam app, which is like the best app available for students right now. So if you are yet to download the app, please do yourself a favor, go to Play Store, and download your O3 Schools Jam app and activate. So very quickly, we'll run through our class for today. The topic is social justice and true religion. Now we'll be looking at the book of Amos, Amos chapters, let's see, two to eight. Social justice and true religion. First, we define this term, social justice, what is true religion. Social justice. Social justice has to do with equal rights and privileges for all, irrespective of background or status or what have you. So social justice... Equal rights for all. Equal rights, equal privileges, because everyone is born equal. So there should be equal opportunity for people to access basic things, you know, literally. So that's social justice. Basically, equal rights for all, where everyone is equal. There are no sacred cows. No one is above any other. Then true religion. has to do with having a real relationship with God. When you have a real relationship with God, it means worshipping God in truth and in spirit. It can also be defined as a combination of the ceremonial aspect of faith with the practice of righteousness at all times. When I say ceremonial aspect of faith, I mean the general things like attending church gatherings or godly gatherings, payment of tithes and offerings, fasting, prayer, all of that. And then practice of righteousness has to do with showing love, showing kindness, forgiveness, hospitality, all the fruits of the spirit. So that is truly religion. You've been able to combine the ceremonial aspects, the physical aspect, with the practice of religion at all times. We refer to that as the true religion. Now, social justice in Israel had been corrupted and the Israelites no longer practiced the true religion. They had deviated from the covenant they had with God and their hearts were no more with God. They merely pretended by carrying out the physical aspect, which is the what I called the ceremonial aspect earlier on, but their hearts, the true fear of God was no more in them, which is why God called Amos to warn the Israelites of imminent punishment if they did not change their ways. Now, Amos' preaching centered on, it centered mostly on correcting the social ills that were abundant in Israel at that time, which is why Amos is generally referred to as a prophet of social justice and true religion. Now we we'll look at the background of Amos. Background of Amos. Amos was a sheep breeder in Tekoa. And God called him when Uzziah was king of Judah. And Jeroboam was king of Israel. So Amos, generally referred to as a prophet of social justice and true religion, was a sheep breeder in Tekoa before God called him. And God called him during the reign of Uzziah as king of Judah and Jeroboam as king of Israel. We now look at some social ills in Israel that God called Amos to warn the children of Israel about. First, they disobeyed God. We said they disobeyed God. 
They didn't keep his commandments. Next, they practice idolatry. They were worshipping other idols that God had warned them about. Then they perverted the ways of the humble. Sorry, they. The ways of the humble. They also sold the righteous for silver. They sold the righteous for silver. And the poor for a pair of sandals. Also, we have a man and his father went into the same girl. These are some of the ills that are prevalent in Israel that God sent Amos to warn the Israelites about. They were to change their ways and start, you know, obeying God. They were to turn from these evil ways and start to obey God or else God was going to punish them. God had given the Israelites numerous warnings. He had sent people to them asking them to change their ways, but still they did not listen. In fact, while Amos was preaching, Amaziah, the priest in Bethelas at that time, opposed Amos. He reported him to the king and even told Amos to leave Bethel and prophesy elsewhere. But we'll look at the punishment for Amaziah. He opposed Amos' message to the Israelites, the message that God had sent Amos to preach to the Israelites, Amaziah opposed Amos and even reported to the king so that Amos would be thrown out of Bethel. So God punished Amaziah. First, his wife would be a, a harlot. In the city... Then his sons and daughters would be killed. His land will be divided. He would die in a defiled land. These were the punishments that God gave to Amaziah for opposing Amos when he was trying to spread God's message for the Israelites. Then as for Israel, punishment for the Israelites if they refused to change their ways. An adversary would sap their strength. and plunder their palaces. God would visit destruction on their houses and altars. The city would fall and rise no more. Because there will be no one to raise, raise it up. God said he will reject their sacrifices and offerings. 
God said he will reject their sacrifices and offerings. Those that oppress the poor would not live in the houses they are built. Neither would they drink wine from their vineyard. God said they will be waiting in the streets. They will desire the day of the Lord and it will be useless to them because it will be total darkness. There will be no light. Also, God said he will cause a famine, not of food or thirst, but of his word. They would desire his word, but they would not find it. Amos' message to the people was simply to seek God, to love good and to hate evil, as well as the establishment of social justice. In conclusion, we see that the, so the social ills that the Israelites carried out during their days is still prevalent in our society today. Hence, Amos' message is still very relevant. And also in James chapter 1 from verse 19 to 27, we are told to lay aside all filthiness and wickedness and to receive God's word that is able to save us while also we should, we should not only hear, we should also do God's word. Because true religion comes when we keep ourselves from things of the world. That's it for social justice and true religion. We have said Amos is generally known as a prophet of social justice and true religion because his message mostly so centered, sorry, his message mostly centered on the social ills that were prevalent in the society in Israel at that time. And then we look at the social ills in Israel and the punishment God gave to Israel if they refused to change their ways and turn back to him. Now, we'll check the old three schools jam app for some questions that have been asked on this topic. But before then, if you're yet to subscribe to our channel, please subscribe like this video and comment down below if you have questions or suggestions we are there willing to listen to you and help you out with whatever you may need now on the old three schools jam app can just start the topic social justice and true religion where there is question search you click on question search you type the subject and then the topic so here's a question According to Amos, true religion entails A, engaging in sacrifices and burnt offerings, B, ju being just and righteous, C, fasting and praying always, D, engaging in holy feasts and assemblies. That would be B, being just and righteous. It's not just engaging in sacrifices only or fasting and praying or engaging in holy feasts and assemblies it should also come from your heart you should be just and righteous at all times as well then you are really practicing true religion another question here says prophet amos told israel to hate evil love good and establish justice in the gate so that god would a heal their diseases b give them good leaders c be gracious to them d multiply their descendants c god will be gracious to them if they hate evil and love good. We also have, Amos declared that the Jews who built houses of hewn stone would not dwell in them because they A, swore falsely, B, persecuted the prophet, C, trampled upon the poor, D, worshipped other gods, C, trampled upon the poor. That was part of the punishment for Israel, that those that oppressed the poor would not live in the houses that they had built, neither would they drink wine from their vineyard. So the answer is C, trampled upon the poor. We also have another question here. Which of the following prophets stands for social justice and true religion? We already said Amos, but let me just go through the options. A, Habakkuk, B, Hosea, C, Ezekiel, D, Amos. The answer is D, Amos. Amos is generally known as a prophet of social justice and true religion.